guys what's going on today I uh, well first off I'm sorry about the floppiness of my camera uh, I broke a, broke the uh, sun visor mount so I almost wanted to die anyway um, I just thought I would start a daily rant video or vlog if you will I don't know if I'm going to do it every day or once a week or once a month or whenever I feel like it, something. But anyway, just something to get some social interaction, share my little bit of knowledge with you guys, and, and maybe if you guys have some insight on the topics we talk about, you can share, share yours with me. Post them in the comments below. Be honest, but don't be rude. So, first up, this election. Particularly people that, Republicans, that are not supporting Donald Trump. First off, he's the nominee. He won the primaries, fair and square, beat 16 other guys. 15 other guys and one other woman. But he took it, fair and square. Primaries are not rigged. There was nobody working against him. He won them, straight up. Not my choice. I didn't vote for him. Actually, I didn't vote at all because I live in Florida. And I am a registered independent. And we cannot vote in the primaries unless you are Democrat or Republican. And I went down to the government center and tried to switch my party. I was gonna to switch to, to Republican, but I was a day late. Story of my life. So I couldn't vote. So even without my precious single little vote, Trump won the nomination. Honestly, Cruz was my guy. I wanted Ted Cruz. Um, very constitutional lawyer. Very smart man. That's who I wanted. Now, as I said, I live here in Florida. And Trump beat Marco Rubio in the primary. Beat him in his home state. So what does that tell you? People want change. People are tired of the... Uh, you know, business as usual, politics, uh, however you want to look at it. But he won the majority of the votes in the primary. So, he's what we got, guys. You Republicans, Paul Ryan, Lindsey Graham, countless others, don't want to support him. Well, then you guys should have done better in the primaries and won. But you didn't. So you need to get on the ball and support the Republican nominee for president. And look, I get it. I don't want Trump. Okay, I, I don't want him. But he is by far better than the alternative. So just get behind him. Support him. Shut the frack up. Punch Republican on the on your voting ticket November 8th for president. And we'll deal with it down the road. He's made some very good choices for the Supreme Court. Uh, um, candidate out of right here out of Florida. Very fair judge, very constitutional judge. Um, has made his list for the federal Supreme Court. So, I'm not too worried there. He surrounds himself with some good people. He'll have a moderately successful, or at least possibly not lose any more ground than we've already lost. Because, I mean, let's face it, guys. Hillary is the alternative. Crooked Hillary. Every day there's something coming out about her. Emails, pay for play, scandal, scandal, scandal. It's just non-stop. And I heard uh, Robbie Mook, the uh, campaign coordinator, campaign director, whatever he is, 
on CNN a couple nights ago, and they're talking to him about. Actually, no, I guess it was on Fox News Sunday, because I think it was Chris Wallace that, that conducted the interview, talking about uh, this latest Morocco twelve million dollar donation, whatever. <coughs> and uh, Chris Wallace asks asks him about it. And he immediately tears off into, well, let's not forget, these, these are hacked emails stolen by Russia. You know, I, I don't believe that they know for sure that they were stolen from Russia. But anyway, we'll save that for another time. It, it, it's like, you know, it's like, don't pay attention to what the emails say. Let's pay attention to where they came from. No, Robbie, doesn't work that way. You didn't want this information out. It's damaging to your candidate. These Democrats, I just, I don't, I don't get it. They, no matter what, no matter what, it seems like no matter what comes out. You know, Donald Trump said that he could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue, shoot somebody, and people would still vote for him. Well, we've obviously proven that theory wrong because there's people backing away from him. And I get it. I, I understand it. But I think it's kind of like Hillary could shoot somebody in the middle of Fifth Avenue and her supporters wouldn't budge because she hasn't really lost much support. You know, the numbers bobble around back and forth, but quite honestly, these two are running almost neck and neck in the low to mid 40s uh, some polls Hillary's higher some polls Trump's are higher but the average is within two or three points across the board I'm really sorry about this camera guys I got a new mount on order I don't know maybe I'm wrong I am a Pro Second Amendment person, but more importantly, I'm an anti-gun control American. It, it goes, and that is what I don't think a lot of people get, is it, it goes deeper than the Second Amendment with us. Okay, you know, Second Amendment, the right to keep and bear arms. Okay, yes, that is true, absolutely. But it, it goes further than that. I don't want any restrictions on anything I want to own. The, the NFA Act can't own suppressors, can't own full auto. Okay, uh, you know, I accepted that because that's the law, that's what was passed. I don't agree with it, especially suppressors. I, I don't know why suppressors would be controlled. I mean, it's it protects your hearing. If you got a kid out there shooting, you, you know, you're teaching your kid, not so much for a 22, but when you step them up to, you know, maybe a 223 or a 9 millimeter, or, you know, you start getting them into the bigger category, bigger calibers, it would be nice. My son loves to shoot, but he doesn't, it doesn't like the noise. So I, you know, I put earplugs in and I put earphones on them and, uh, you know, he'll shoot him, but he's not comfortable with it. He doesn't like that. If I had a suppressor, it wouldn't be an issue. Anyway, I'm rambling here. And that's basically what these videos are going to be about, my ramblings. Um, if you like them, hey, great. Watch them, comment, thumbs up, whatever. If you don't, then don't watch them anymore. It's not a big deal. So, back to the election and get out there and vote. Has he said a lot of bad things? Yes, absolutely he has. Has he done a lot of bad things? I don't know. None of it's really been proven yet. A person can say anything they want. Doesn't mean it actually happened. But, uh, so Trump's the man. And I get it. That's a hard pill to swallow. If, if if you can't vote for him, I get it. I, I don't like it, but I get it. I understand. 
but the alternative is Hillary and you know what that's all about the other alternatives are Gary Johnson for the Libertarian Party Jill Stein for the Green Party um, and if you think you're going to throw a vote towards Johnson all I can say is you, you need to just go watch a couple of his interviews a couple of his videos this guy is so far out there it's not even funny um, this guy should be hanging out with Governor Moonbeam out there in California he's just this guy smoked too much pot or whatever this guy is burnt up now his vice presidential candidate um, I can't remember his name Bill something or other I think he doesn't sound too bad but how that party got arranged where Johnson got selected to be president I don't get. Jill Stein, Green Party. Yeah, it's a viable alternative, I guess. She's only picking up two or three percent of the um, of the vote. I'm kind of surprised at that. I thought being another woman candidate in in the election process that you know, she'd get more of the women, I should say. I would think that couldn't vote for Hillary and there's a lot of them now on Trump's um, issues you know immigration fair trade on down the line I watched a video a couple days ago of Trump talking about deporting and, and you know illegals coming into the country unemployment welfare food stamps jobs you know they're, they're taking all this stuff up and and then I happened to see another video of Bill Clinton back in the mid 90s if you compare the two speeches Bill Clinton was saying the same stuff they're taking our jobs, they're, you know, sucking up all the social um, entitlements, crime, drugs, you know. And if you compare Clinton's speech back then and Trump's speech, they're saying the same thing. The difference here being that the entire audience for Clinton gave him a standing ovation that Donald Trump gets ripped for being for being Islamophobic racist you know anti immigrant it's give me a break you know this whole media slant in the in this election process well I hate to say it but it's true a lot of these emails and and this this whole Morocco 12 million dollar donation while Hillary was still um, Secretary of State you hardly hear about it. it it gets just a quick blurb on CNN yet anything Trump or anti-Trump they beat it to death CNN NBC or CNN MSNBC same thing I'll admit Fox is more slanted toward the Republican side but they do throw a lot of coverage towards the Democrats so I don't know guys <clears throat> if you can't vote Trump okay like I said I get it but make sure you vote every down ticket ballot Republican because this whole thing about Hillary Clinton you know, I support the Second Amendment I'm not here to take your guns you know all that stuff Obama said too now granted Obama hasn't made any traction on it but he's tried you guys remember the M855 ban last year that the ATF tried to pull off you think the ATF come up with that on their own luckily enough pro-gunners pro-gun people pro-second amendment people 
pitched a fit, and that, that went away. But let's not forget that Bill Clinton enacted the assault weapons ban back in, in 1994. And you guys know what that what that did. Prices went crazy. You couldn't buy hardly anything, and what you could buy was junk. So, don't fall for it. She does not support the Second Amendment. That woman will take your guns faster than you can shake a stick. You tell me why, when pressed, she always references the Australians' gun buyback program. It says, you know, we should implement something like that here. Well, the difference there compared to these, you know, county and, and local, you know, state level type gun buyback programs are those are voluntary. If you got an old gun, and a lot of people took advantage of that, they'd go spend 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks on some piece of junk gun, take it to these buybacks, get a $100 bill or a gift certificate for a grocery store or Walmart, some nonsense like that. But those were voluntary. You did not have to do them. The Australian gun buyback program was mandatory and it was only buyback for I believe the first year after that it became confiscation and she has to know the difference because she kept referencing the local and state and then comparing it to Australia and that tells me that she knew the difference it's not like she didn't know that that was a mandatory versus a local here voluntary she knew the difference the woman is smart okay I'll, I'll give her that she is smart and she is a wordsmith she knows how to she's a master at, at vagary and word art so don't fall for it but you guys already know that so anyway guys that's it for the moment uh, I might have more later um, at the end of the day when I'm heading back to pick up the kid from school We'll see. I don't know how this is gonna go Might go great and then again. You guys might not ever see it All right guys until next time basket of deplorables